We're Liz and Dennis, full-time RVers who've lived life on the road since 2017. After spending 11 months over the past year RVing throughout Mexico, we made the long 2,500 mile journey home. Join us this week as we give Maggie our renovated Class C RV some love and see what life is like when we're home. Welcome back. For you guys here in YouTube world, it's only been two weeks since we crossed the border from Mexico and returned back to Florida. But in reality, we've been home for two full months. Our time here in Florida has pretty much looked like this. I miss you when you're gone, gone, gone. But we're also making time for some fun activities. Won't you tell me about the time back in Kathmandu when they stole your Happy birthday, dear Dennis. Happy birthday to you. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you know that our vlogs are normally behind. We do this for safety purposes, but also so that we have a little bit of lag time. Editing and filming vlogs in addition to working full time and traveling is a lot. So having a backlog of content allows us to have a little bit of time to breathe and it gives us downtime when we do things like return home. Now we're able to pick up and continue on our epic journey. We have a lot of adventures planned for this summer. So we're gonna catch you up to speed in today's vlog showing you some of the things we've been working on and big news about where we're going to be heading in just a few days. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. It's a mango from Zipolite. I'm not gonna eat it, but I wonder if this counts as smuggling fruit across the border. Whoops. We've been in Florida now for a couple of days and we've been blessed with amazing weather. Like the high is 78, the low has been down, I think in like the 50s and it's been beautiful. So I wanna take advantage of this beautiful weather and while we're not running the AC, to be able to do some much needed services to the AC. I'm gonna be replacing the roof gasket underneath the AC. I'm also gonna rework a little bit of the wiring to try to clean all that up to make the intake run a little more efficiently, hopefully. I'm gonna be pulling the AC away from the hole that's in the roof to replace the gasket, and that, I believe, is gonna be a better time to clean the coils. That way I don't have to worry about a bunch of nasty water getting down inside the RV. So yeah, let's get to work. That's what we're working on. Like a big chunk of insulation right here. Ugh. It's another project day, and thank the Lord, I've had help from my buddy Mike and my brother-in-law Shane. This is all I'm qualified to do, scrape stuff off the wall. All that extra layers of paint somebody put on there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Oh, Biodemus. Mm cover up that paint line we were worried about. I mean, you know, oddly it doesn't. It it's does it? <laughs> no way. Yeah, all that worry over that, and now you're gonna have to touch it up anyway. Left-handed. Would you look at the state of this place? We have been hammering away on projects since we got home, and we're finally starting to wrap them up. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. We've installed 
new pot lights so we can actually record this inside of the RV without looking super dark on the GoPro. We've it had to, in the middle of everything, the faucet in the bathroom decided to start leaking. So that's something that we've done. It's almost too high though. A little, a little too high? Yeah. I'm gonna try another one. We got, how many did we buy? We bought two. Uh, that actually does feel a little more natural, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I like it. I think that's the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Because the other one, we're gonna be higher and be splashing it everywhere all the time. Mm -hmm. cool. It was like a bird bath before. You had to like wash one hand at a time because the sink was so low, or the faucet was so low to the sink. This is a major upgrade. We installed an expansion bladder and deleted the internal water filter inside of the RV and reconfigured our water filtration system as a whole. And one of the most exciting things that I think we've done is install a spray port on the outside next to the door so we can hose off shoes and our nasty feet and sand and stuff when we're at the beach. There it is, oh boy. Hello. We've been putting in a whole lot of work getting Maggie ready to hit the road and I know a lot of y'all are doing the same thing now that it's springtime and heading into summer for your summer camping trips and your RV, which brings me to this week's sponsor, eTrailer. If you're going to be doing any sort of renovations or upgrades to your RV, eTrailer is a really great source for RV parts. If you watch any of our renovation series videos, you'll know that we got the Max Fan and a couple other accessories from them. They honor all of the manufacturer's warranties on any of the RV accessories that they sell you. If you buy a Max Air Fan for 450 bucks and it fails in a week and you order it from Amazon, sorry Charlie, but if you do the same thing with e-trailer and you call customer service, they're gonna get you a replacement and you're good to go. And they literally have anything that you could hope to find if you're doing renovations, upgrades, or repairs to your RV. So if you're looking for parts for your next RV project, click the link in the description below. It is an affiliate link, but it'll help our channel grow at no extra cost to you. That way you can be road ready once summertime hits and camping season is at full swing. Thankfully, my brother and sister-in-law, where we're staying, were kind enough to install full hookups here. So we have 30 amp service, water, and a dump. And they're amazing gardeners. You've probably seen their property in past videos when we've come back home, but they have chickens now. And one of the chickens just had a bunch of baby chicks. Hi, girls. Oh, look at them, they're so cute. Hi. Oh my god, they're so cute. This one is about five days old, I think. Fancy, the chicken who had all of the, the eggs, is such a good mama. So now that we're home, one thing we're really enjoying is having access to all of the great food. My sister's entire front yard and backyard is a vegetable garden, so we can literally pick the greens we put in our smoothie for the day, or the salad, or our meal for the evening, and that has been so nice. But outside of maintaining a healthy lifestyle and diet choices, we are also trying to maximize our results by seeing a Chinese doctor. We've visited Chinese doctors in the past. One of our good friends is actually a Chinese medicine doctor in Chattanooga, and this doctor here is highly recommended. All of our family already visits him, and we're going to our first visit today. Our doctor's appointment went splendidly. We are both in good health, which is wonderful to hear. We actually got our blood work done when we were in Mexico before we left. We're glad we did because it was significantly cheaper than what blood work would have cost us here in the United States. And Dr. Lindy used that information as well as other more Chinese medicine methods for diagnosing problems, including checking our pulse and looking at our tongue. And from that, and our blood work, and some of the symptoms we described, he was able to identify and address some of the underlying causes for our symptoms today. Because a lot of times you can say, oh, okay, well I have fatigue, or I have this, and I have this, and you think, well that's the problem. But there's always a root cause for all of those issues. And what they do at Dr. Lindy's office, and most other Chinese medicine doctors, is they take a holistic approach for healing that. And we love that. So we're very happy with the result. We do have some supplements that we'll be taking over the next few weeks. We'll be getting some B12 shots because we were low in B12, but 
we're pretty much keeping up with what we're doing. Eating well, working out, trying to manage stress, have fun. RV lifestyle is good for that, but also can add to that. So we'll work on it. Uh, trying to get this oil changed, of course. Last minute D, trying to do everything the day we pull out. But yeah, I'm getting the oil changed. I What else have I done? Oil changed, oil filter. We cleaned and sanitized the hot water heater. So that's been descaled. This thing is literally cleaner than when we left for Mexico the first time. It's never been this clean since we've owned it ever. But uh, the oil light came on whenever we crossed back into Florida on the way back from Mexico. So we got, I think we figured out it was like 17,500 miles out of it before the service uh, oil light came back on, which is awesome. Other than that, we're late <laughs> per usual. As sad as it is to say goodbye to my family, the time has come for us to hit the road again. Yep. Llama llama zippity zoom. Llama llama zip. Llama llama zoom. Llama llama red pajama vroom vroom vroom. Mm. You gonna miss you? Oh, it's true. Mwah. Thank you for the smooch. Oh, I love your running hugs. Oh, I'll miss you, baby. I love you. Hug you're gonna be driving, driving, driving mm. on the road, road, road. Yes, I will, <laughs> will, will. I love you. Oh, I love you, sis. Love you too. Thank you for everything. Thank you. We'll miss you. We will see you soon. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Of course. You guys were a huge help. <laughs> we're so happy to be home with you. Leaving is always the hardest. We are very close, and being able to spend this time two full months with them here, especially as they welcomed their new baby girl into the world was so special and we will definitely cherish the time we got to take off and, and just be with them. We'll miss them dearly until we see them again in six months. But since we are hitting the road, I thought it would be a perfect time to tell you our summer plans. We, we haven't really filled you in on that yet. We've been leaving you hanging. After our epic travels through Mexico, we have decided to stay stateside this summer. And we're gonna be starting a special summer series where we explore the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Not only will we do the UP, which is a very famous spot for our viewers that is supposed to be absolutely epic and gorgeous, but we'll be doing some of the lakeside activities of Michigan. I feel like it'll be a really American summer. Then we're gonna head into Wisconsin and we're also gonna do parts of Northern Minnesota before we follow the leaves back this fall. I know for a fact we have a lot of fun stuff planned. We're gonna be doing a few activities here in Florida and kind of slowly making our way up to Michigan over the next several weeks. So we'll have some really fun content coming your way to kick off the summer season but we'd love to hear your plans for this summer what you're doing to get outside and safely travel and explore whether that be an RV and car traveling internationally or by airplane whatever you're doing to have some fun this summer we'd love to hear about it in the comments below and I hope you're ready for an epic summer season we are pumped it is bittersweet though leaving really like everyone kept saying are you guys ready to leave are you guys ready to leave and it's like I mean, of course we love being on the road and we enjoy all of the activities and things we get to do, eat and see, but we also love being with our family. Yeah, it's always rough leaving, but. It's part of it. We are via Heros, so that is one of the big parts of it. You're always leaving, you get comfortable. As soon as you get really comfortable, it's time to go again. It'll take a few days, we'll get back into a road rhythm and it'll feel right again. I think we're gonna leave you here and we'll pick you up next week. I really can't wait for you guys to join us. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, give it a like. If you have any recommendations for things we must do on our journey north, let us know. Or if you're from Michigan or have recommendations for Michigan, we really hope to hear those as well. We'll see you next week. Okay. Ah! <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Chickens eating crows. Dragonflies flying in the water.